The Crusader Industries Genesis Starliner is a planned passenger transport ship in Star Citizen, built around moving people from A to B. Combining the sleek and stylish design from Crusader Industries with a large frame for packing in as much as possible, the Genesis is an important but an often forgotten part of bringing the verse to life. I'm Forrester, and welcome to the Dry Dock, a series which delves deeper into the ships of Star Citizen. This video will explore the background behind the Genesis both in and out of game, then take a look at some of the attributes and statistics of the ship before considering how that might all translate into gameplay. There are timestamps in the video description, although if you're interested in the Genesis, you might prefer to watch this one all the way through. And whilst this channel usually focuses on what's currently in-game, necessarily this video will navigate the treacherous space that is speculation territory. Whilst every effort has been made to approach this video accurately, sometimes information is sparse and much is subject to change as time goes along, so please treat the content with a pinch of salt and not as a definitive promise as to what will happen. All of that said, let's dive into the background of the Genesis Starliner. The Genesis Starliner was first announced in June 2015, with two Q&A articles on the Star Citizen website. Since then, news of the ship has been fairly quiet, although other Crusader industry ships have been made available in-game. Although there has been a long time since first announced, there's limited information available about the Genesis in-game. Some of the interesting information available relates to the use of the ship for military purposes, including troop transport and space warning and control slash command and control. The Genesis debuted at $400 back in 2015, and that price hasn't changed since. The stated purpose for the Genesis is as a personnel transport ship, moving around 40 passengers from A to B. The Star Citizen website describes the ship as a passenger transport. Based on current information, the Genesis Starliner would have a total length of 85 metres, a total width or beam of 90 metres, and a total height or depth of 16 metres. The total mass of the Genesis would be around 3,120 metric tonnes. By way of components, the current plans would suggest that power would be provided by a large and a medium power plant, with cooling provided by two large coolers. Additionally, the ship would carry a medium-sized radar and two medium-sized computers. Defensively, the Genesis would carry a large shield generator. The specifications also list a large fuel tank, four medium hydrogen fuel intakes, and a large-sized quantum fuel tank. Both the quantum drive and jump drive are listed as large-sized. In terms of propulsion, the specifications list four retro thrusters, four main thrusters, four VTOL thrusters, and 12 fixed manoeuvring thrusters located around the ship. The documentation about the Genesis talks about how the VTOL thrusters are embedded within the wings. By way of armament, the current specifications for the Genesis suggest a very lightly armed ship, with only one turret carrying two size 4 weapons. It's noted in the Q&A that this is more of a conscious choice, with the Genesis better suited to running away than staying and fighting. The crew specifications for the Genesis note a minimum crew of 2 to a maximum crew of 8. The Q&A does mention that the ship could potentially be operated by a solo pilot, which makes the minimum requirement on the specifications page a little dubious. Realistically, one or two players would likely be the limit for the sort of gameplay options that may become available. That said, the life support aboard is likely to be able to support upwards of 50 people, owing to the nature of this ship as a personnel transport. That's an ability that may be quite rare, save for amongst much bigger ships, and that could make this a niche in its own for the Genesis. As essentially a transport ship, there are two key metrics that are a Genesis Starliner. The first is the cargo storage capability, which is set to be around 300 SCU, 
mixed between overhead lockers and the cargo bay below decks. The second is the seating aboard, with facilities for around 40 passengers and up to 8 crew. The Q&A also talks about redundant components, giving extra durability to the Genesis as well as covering long ranges. The primary use case for the Genesis will be moving a large number of people from A to B, in the same way that modern commercial passenger jets do. There may end up being some kind of management gameplay attached to that, whether it's as simple as loading up in the same way as cargo, or as detailed as looking after the needs of the passengers aboard, only time will tell. But the economic model of the ship would be to take a fee for each passenger transported, with the potential that NPCs make up the bulk of that contractual opportunity, for the most part. The Genesis distinguishes itself from the luxury transports like the Origin Yachts or the Constellation Phoenix by focusing on moving large numbers of people rather than small numbers of VIPs. While some of the detail about the ship talks about other roles, ranging from SWACs to loading up racing ships internally, it seems unlikely that those variants will be made available for player use at this point. The Genesis Starliner that's likely to make its way into player hands is probably not a natural fleet ship, at least not in a combat sense. Given the highly valuable cargo of human life aboard, the role is more as a high value ship to be protected by other ships. That said, there could be some combat support functions from a more strategic rather than a tactical perspective, with the Genesis potentially able to ferry large numbers of troops over long distances, albeit probably avoiding the front lines of combat. Still, the idea of being able to run a passenger liner in the verse could be appealing to many, so there will be a lot of people out there looking forward to the Genesis eventually becoming flyable. At the risk of going on for too long, that'll pretty much wrap it up for the Genesis Starliner here, and so it's over to you to share your thoughts in the video comments. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, you might like to do that too so that you can get the heads up for new videos on the channel, as well as taking your seat in an orderly fashion onto the like button if you like heavily narrated slideshows talking about fictional spaceships. Otherwise, and as always, thank you for watching.